Okay. Good night. My lovely people. I want to say thank you for subscribing. Liking. Commenting. And even sharing my videos. I appreciate you all. Tonight I want to share with you. How I accepted Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I can remember that Sunday night when I went to church, my sister and I. Going to church that Sunday night, I did not have it in my, have it in my mind to surrender my life to Christ. Because at that moment, around that day, my intention was only to get away from home because at home I didn't like what was going on. I was not happy. Situations that were going on I did not like. It was a difficult time and I made some plans and I said that I am going to leave home. At that time my hair was permed and you know during that time there was there was this popular hairstyle person were wearing and I said to myself I am going to cut my hair in that hairstyle and I am going to pierce my ears because at that time my ears wasn't pierced even though it is still not pierced and and the big plan was to go and live with a young man in that time find a man to live with because at that time I wasn't working I didn't have a job but I want to get out of that situation so I made those plans and tell myself that I'm going to leave but on that particular Sunday night somehow I went to church with my sister and I can remember clearly I was sitting at the back both of us didn't have Jesus on my mind I don't know about her but Jesus was not on my mind at that time to, to say I am going to serve God because the plans I had then was not to serve God and I was just in down and see what was going on what I want to say to you, you know, sometimes we have our plans and those are not the plans that God has for us. That's why Jeremiah 29 verse 11 said, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And that's a fact that is so true. Because the plan that I had, Jesus did not have those plans for me. So that's why I'll sit down in church. And the person who was moderating called on me to sing. And I said to myself, I even turned to my sister. I said, did you hear that? She's calling me to sing. And I said to myself, I wonder why she's calling me to sing. I am not a Christian. And I sat down there, still not moving. And then she called me again. I still did not move. And then she called again. And then I, you know, somehow I got up. And I went up. And I took the microphone and I started singing this song. I love this song so much. It says, This world was this man before I came along, and it may not get any better by the time I am gone. And I was there singing. And I can remember, I can remember when I reached, I think, the chorus. 
let me say it's got something got a hold of me. I started crying. I felt the touch of Jesus that night. And I did not finish singing the song. I started to ball. And I can remember they took me to the altar. And they started praying for me. And while I was at the altar, let me tell you something, people of God. When I was there, I tell you, the devil was there and Jesus was there. And I can clearly remember that there was a, I was wrestling. There was a tug of war going on. And Satan was saying to me, don't give up. Jesus was saying to me, come to me. And I was there. To, it was a great struggle. And I was there. And I could, and I remember when um, I, Satan was telling me that you're not going to look good wearing dresses. You're not going to look good wearing skirts. And because at that time, I didn't like none of those. I didn't like skirts. I didn't like dresses. I used to love wearing pants. And if I'm wearing, wearing a, a, a short, a skirt, it has to be above my knee. Not to say that I was a rude girl. I was a girl that, you know, I, I, I had my integrity. But just, that was just me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like um, dresses. I, I think about dresses as like for old people. And when I was there at the altar, I can remember Satan said to me, you're not going to look good in dress. You're not going to look good in skirt. You're going to look like an old lady. And I was there. And I was saying, and then the Lord said to me, look at this particular sister. There was a sister in the church at that time. My age group at the time. And I could see the image of the sister in her teen skirt past her knee. And she didn't look, she didn't look old. And then the Lord showed me another sister in the same apparel. And she didn't look old. And Satan was there telling me, you're going to look old wearing those things. Because the devil knew that I didn't like wearing those, those kind of clothes. So the devil was using that, you know, to hold on to me. And I was there. But somehow, I, 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 I surrendered to Jesus. Because in every situation, you know, Jesus will always be victorious. And that night, I said yes to Jesus. And while I was there, this feeling, this feeling was upon me. You know, as if I had a great task to accomplish. And at that time, I felt like Moses. You know, Moses who killed the, the, um, the Egyptian and left Egypt. And then God said to Moses that you should go back to Egypt to free my people. And can you imagine how Moses felt such a great task? And I was feeling that feeling like I had some task, something to accomplish. And I was there. And I said, Lord, and I surrendered everything. And, and after all of that feeling, I could remember someone was, was anointing me and saying that you're going to stay in the house of the Lord forever and ever and all of those things. So you see, now that I see so many things are happening, I know that I belong to Jesus. And, uh, and it doesn't matter what happens or what I'm going through. I have to remain in the house of the Lord. And when I look back and I say to myself, all those plans that I had made then, planning to, to, to live with a man in order to, to survive. And I want to say to you, you know, 
sometimes you have the saying that says no when man a plan gotta wipe out and i want to tell you of a fact that is so true i made my plans but god what god wiped all of them out god said these plans that you have made they are not for you i have a better plans for you he said i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you not to harm you but the plans that i had made then they would bring harm to me probably today i would not be here talking to you because my life would have taken a different path you know probably if i had found that young man at the time and decided to go live with that young man or whoever i i i, I met upon at the time because i am running away from situation and circumstances but jesus said no you are not going anywhere you are going to stay right here and i am going to i am going to save you i am going to anoint you hallelujah i am going to anoint you and i'm going to use you bless the name of jesus for my glory and i want to say to you when i accepted christ at that time and i was still at home in the situation and i want to tell you that god used me in a particular way that we were able to leave the home and to go somewhere bless the name of jesus when i'm looking back on everything right now i am saying if i had if i had gone along with the plans that i have made then mighty god probably today i don't think my mother would be alive bless the name of jesus but because i accept the call at that particular time i believe her life her life was saved and now she's still alive bless the name of jesus so i want to say to someone when, when we are planning god a wipe out sometimes the plans that we are making they are not good they are not they are not they are not healthy they are not, they are not plans to prosper us bless the name of jesus so sometimes when god touch us and god call us let us accept the call let us hearken unto the voice of the lord bless the name of jesus and today i want to say to you i did not go and live with a man bless the name of jesus and right now at the time i didn't have any education bless the name of jesus and today i am educated i have a job i have a home I have a husband. Bless the name of Jesus. I didn't go ahead and find a man to live with at the time. The only time that I lived with a man is when I got married. Thanks be to Jesus. And right now, I have a family. Bless the name of Jesus. So you see, the plans I had then, they weren't the plans that God had for me. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. So I want to say to someone tonight Jesus he is the way maker he is the promise keeper he is the sustainer bless the name of Jesus he is a God that will not lie he is not man that he should lie whatever he says he will do that he will do bless the name of jesus and today i am grateful i am thankful that god that god did not allow the plans i had then to go forward jesus changed all of those plans and today i am i am happy that jesus turned things around that is why tonight I can say to you, God is real. God is real. And God, he knows your name. And he knows your future. He has your future in his hands. 
Your future is in the hands of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. So that when, when we are making plans and they are not in line with the plans of God, God will wipe them out. That's what the saying says. When man a plan, God a wipe out. Bless the name of Jesus. And I hope that you'll be blessed by this tonight. Keep trusting God. Believe in God. And any plans that you're going to make, make sure that God is in those plans. And God sanction all those plans. Be blessed. Have a great night.